Hey basketball coaches, players, and of course Boston Celtics fans, today I'm going to be breaking down a couple of zipper basketball plays that the Boston Celtics use. Let's get down to the clipboard, let's check these out. Each play I'm going to break down on the clipboard, right after I will show you the real play itself. Okay, so this first play, we're going to have player four setting a screen for player two, and player two is going to be popping up towards the point. At this time, we're going to have player one passing to player two, and now we're going to be having player five cut across, and player one is going to be going into that corner as well, roughly at the free throw line extended. Now at this point in time, we're going to have player four pop up, and he's going to be setting a screen for now player two. After this screen, we're going to be having player four roll towards the free throw line. Now player two has a couple of different options. He can drive towards the rim if it's open, he can pass to player four if player four is open for a three point or for a mid range shot. Or if the defense gets pulled up because of this play, which happens actually quite often, we can have now player three reading the defense and reacting and being open, cutting baseline on the weak side for the alley oop or for a nice easy layup. Now, keeping in mind, if player 2 was to continue to drive because there was an open lane and player 5's man helped out to play some defense or help defense, we may now have the ability to pass out to player 5 for a 3 point shot or if player 1's man went to play even stronger help defense we can make the extra pass for that 3 point shot. Now this time, instead of setting up with our bigs in the post, we're actually going to be setting up with our smaller players in the post with our point guard up top. Now we're going to be having a screen for player 5 who's going to be popping up to the perimeter where player 1 is going to pass player 5 that ball. At this point in time, what we're going to be having is player 3 going up to the free throw line extended and player 1 going down towards that low corner. Now, what we're going to be having is player 2 popping up towards that elbow and trying to keep his defender behind him. Once player 5 passes to player 2, what I want to see happen is player 5 to go and set a screen for player 2. Player 2 is going to use that screen. And now, player 5 is going to be rolling towards the basket. Player 2 could have that shot. He may also have player 5 open cutting towards the basket, but player four is also going to be going up towards that free throw line extended, and player two is going to pass player four that ball, and player four could hit that three point shot. Another option that might happen and might open up for us is if player three's man drops down to player two, player two could pass out to player three for the three point shot too. Now this next play is not a Celtics play, however, this is a very good play that you could run with your team at the youth level. So we're going to start the same way, we're going to have player 5 set that screen for player 3 and player 3 is going to be popping up to the point where player 1 is going to pass player 3 that ball. Now of course if he's open he could take that shot, but if he's not, what I want to see happen now is for player 4 to pop up and set that screen for player 3 with player 5 as a staggered screen. Now what I also want to see happen after player 1 makes that pass I want him to go and cut towards the opposite side of the court which is now opening up this whole side. Player 3 is going to use this staggered screen and the first option is going to be player 5 he is going to be popping up after that screen and player 4 is going to be rolling towards the basket. Player 3 is going to have two options. He's going to take that shot or drive towards the basket or he could pass to player 4 for the layup or he could pass to player 5 for the 3 point shot. This is why I always say that every single player should know how to shoot a 3 point shot consistently or at least have the knowledge on how to do it because you may be put into a position especially as a center where you may be taking a few 3 point shots.
Now, I hope that these plays help your team win more games. If they do, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.